Hello everybody, welcome to the first mukbang <laughs> of a 2022. I know, I know, Ketchup Fridays is pretty much non-existent, hey. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> you know, I've just been busy. So, uh, today, I just wanted to film my mukbang, I mean, because why not? It is so muggy here in Auckland, like I, I don't know about everywhere else. In New Zealand but it is muggy AF. Today I have some Vietnamese food so I got some lemongrass on chicken with rice. Uh, I also got some spring rolls with dumplings. <laughs> what the heck look at that oh my gosh the dumplings look so good. Got the infamous sauce and um, what is this I think soy sauce to go with the dumplings and I got a mango smoothie that is for our mukbang today. I um, asked you guys if you wanted to ask me anything on Instagram. Shout outs to everybody that came through. And for those of you who didn't, thank you. Next. <laughs> okay, unfollow yourselves. <laughs> like, mm, y'all like to watch, but you don't like to interact. There's a difference. Okay? Hmm. Yep. I said what I said. Thank you, Lord, for this food we're about to receive in our bodies. And thank you for this wonderful day you've blessed us with. Please watch over everyone that we know and love. And bless the people that are watching you too. Amen. So yes, I asked you guys uh, some questions. If you wanted some, if you had any questions for me. Mm, on Instagram. Mm, yo. That's actually really nice. No, I can't even open it all. Oh my god. On Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so thank you to the loyal ones that came through and asked questions. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will first of all wait on. Mm. OMG, yum. Okay, so first up, a uh, question from Genesis Havili Sama. Hey girl, how are you? Uh, she asked, what do you do for work and what motivates you? Thank you for your question. Yo, that's bomb dope. So, for work, I work in hospitality, hospitality specifically in hotel, and I have been for many, 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 many years. And for those of you who always come through and ask me if I'm working at the same place, yes, I am. Always asking, I don't know, um, if I'm still working there. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Um, and I don't find that is any of anyone's business. That's the spring warm. Oh, gee, yum. Man, I don't know what the sauce is, but it is so delicious. Right. Anyways, back to, yeah. So, um, I work in hospital, um, specifically hotel. And yes, <laughs> that's what I do for work. <laughs> And what motivates and what motivates you? Um what motivates me to get up every morning uh is the fact that I have a job. There are a lot of people during this uh lockdowns and during these um uncertain times they have lost their jobs and things like that. So for me that motivates me to get up out of bed <laughs> and go to work. I'm, I'm grateful I have a job 
I'm grateful for the roof over my head. I'm grateful for the food on my table. I'm grateful for the job that I have that that lets me provide for us because I am the bread maker in the family. So yeah, and just honestly, just having another day to wake up and to live another day in God's glory. Amen. That's what motivates me. Oh. Let's try the dumpling. Um, I prefer steamed dumplings. What about you guys? I don't really like the pan fried ones, so let's taste this one. Yo. OMG yum. Mm. Thank you for your question. Um, next question is from the brownies mama. Hey girl, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for your questions. Uh, her first question is, if you won lotto, let's say 34 mil. <laughs> wow, that's the dream, right? Um, what is the first thing you would do? Girl, I would scream and jump for joy. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like that, I, what a blessing that would be, like, what a blessing that would be to win that amount of money, such a large amount of money, and then to be able to bless other people with it, would be like, far out, man, like, mm, I don't know, and I'd cry, <laughs> I would definitely cry, that's for sure, you know, I would definitely quit my job, and like I said, I would bless everybody else with the money that, um, and we've won. I would bless everybody else and make sure that everybody set up for their lives and I would make sure that my nieces and nephews are set up as well. For life. And I would love to travel, like with whatever's left over. I'd love to travel the world, like I am so fixated on going to Antarctica. <laughs> Uh, I'm so like I just want to go to Antarctica so bad like as I was saying I just want to go to Antarctica so bad like just to be free <laughs> with the penguins and the polar bears like far up man why not eh why not yeah definitely travel will be on the cards and making sure my family's set up for life Um, you're the sober man. Mm. Mm. She also asked, <coughs> what are you passionate in? So, now that I'm older, <laughs> I believe I'm passionate in being creative and in performing arts because I love dance. I've always loved dance since I was young. And now that, you know, TikTok is available, TikTok for me is just fun. Like, it's just about having fun and dancing. I don't even care if I look like an egg. I don't even care if I look like the bestest dancer in the whole entire world. As long as I am enjoying myself, that's all that matters to me. Right? Because isn't that, at the end of the day, if you love something, if you enjoy it and it makes you happy, then do it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even care. I straight up, my head on my heart, I do not care if, I don't know, you watch my videos and you're like, oh my gosh, she's too much, or you watch my videos and you think, oh my gosh, she can't dance, or she loves her stuff, I don't care, because I do love myself, <laughs> I do love myself, I pride myself on my personality and my character, <laughs> and to me, nowadays, like, your character means more to me than like your materialistic bags that you're wearing or your sunglasses or your shoes or whatever like the way you treat me or the way you treat other people uh means more to me than anything in this world i don't know have i got on off from topic off the topic but 
I just love being creative like and I love dancing and I love performing arts and I love helping people too um I'm always a good listener I'm always there if you want to chat <laughs> come through on my DMs <laughs> Yo. That is absolutely delicious. What this one? That's absolutely delicious. Mm. <laughs> and her last question is where do you see yourself in 10 years girl I see myself still alive <laughs> let's go and <laughs> honestly I see myself still alive like freaking heck goodness knows if this zombie apocalypse apocalypse is going to happen if the world is going to end like <laughs> I just see myself alive man like what I see myself alive, happy, healthy, and successful. That's the end goal for me. <laughs> and as long as I have accomplished that within the two the ten years, bro, life will be bliss. Like bro. it'll be all worth it in the end, right? Oh my god. I just wanna sit here and eat. Mm. <laughs> Bit of cucumber. Mm. Thank you for your question. Mm. We've got a question from Tina. Hey girl, how are you? Uh, and I believe her question is, what is one of your favorite summer foods? And why? And something about watermelon. <laughs> one second. Mm. Yeah, something about watermelon. Sorry, girl. Uh, so my favorite summer food. Wow, I, I can't put. I don't know. Favorite summer food. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Corn. Corn. Uh, chicken. But like, like grilled chicken is nice with corn, and a salad really. Like because. It's been so muggy and it's been so hot. Like, I try not to cook so much in the afternoon. <laughs> but yeah, I've been eating a lot of corn. Um, chicken. <laughs> but also we haven't been eating a lot of meat, so. But yeah. What's your favourite summer food? <laughs> oh my gosh, these dumplings though, like. They're so good, man. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Mm. Thank you for your question. Girl, I, I'm pretty sure that's what you asked there. <laughs> my life. It's all about unorganized. <laughs> Oh, gee, um. <laughs> and the last question is from Sita Masoy. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong, but honestly, girl, I apologize. She asked, 
what's your favorite tv series or movie at the moment yo <laughs> <laughs> Once again, let's try this for Oh, gee, yum. That's delicious. That's a mango smoothie. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up for me. Yeah, what's your favorite TV series movie at the moment? So I just finished watching um, The Woman in the House next door to the girl in the window or something. Wow. <laughs> but has been and got me onto it. Pardon me. Has been and got me onto it. And then I started watching it and then I was just like, hey, what's going on here? Huh? What's going on? Like, yo, who would have thought it? If you haven't watched it. Um, then block your ears <laughs> mm. I thought that was very good it's like a thriller a thriller but like funny at the same time like some parts in the movie in the series it was I was like what? what's going on here and I was cracking up but yeah let's just say <laughs> don't be getting smart to your younger siblings okay because she's a little psycho a little psycho like ugh. but yeah that's what I watched and quite honestly I don't watch a lot of TV anymore like I used to I don't watch a lot of programs I don't watch anything like I don't find TV interesting to me <laughs> honestly so if I'm not if I don't watch TV I just watch whatever I on the tube learn something new um, I would like to start reading different books about different things <laughs> I just like to keep my mind off the things on TV like <sighs> but in saying that during lockdown, I did watch um, The Hunger Games. <laughs> no. Oh, what's that thing called? With the red light, green light? Squid Games. At first, I was like, oh my gosh, like, what is everybody going on about? What's this stupid thing they run through about? And then I watched it, and then I was like, whoa, like, that's actually pretty good. But at the same time, I thought about it. At the same time, it's kind of sad that the things that people would do for money, yeah? Like, especially coming from you know a poorer background and stuff like the things I mean I can't I can't talk because I wouldn't know what I'd do in that situation actually I'd probably cry <laughs> and I'd probably want to like just go home because I'm not doing that man like what and like I don't know making friends and like that kind of environment and then paying for money and then your friend dies like no. <laughs> It's a no for me. Uh, the games though, like, oh my, OMG, the tug of war one was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> What's in that no? Like, oh, but yeah, Squid Games, I highly recommend Squid Games. If I'm late to the game, obviously I am, but I mean, Squid Games was like a yes for me. Yeah, like, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thoroughly did. What is your favorite uh, TV series or movie at the moment? What movie? What else have I watched? Oh, I watched Encanto. Yeah, it was I. <laughs> mm. I watched Encanto. I'm not gonna lie, I cried <laughs> because something about you know, like wanting to. What's that word? something about your family like wanting to not put let them down and the pressures of being the oldest one and you know how like she didn't get the magic powers and all that kind of jazz so yeah it was okay for me the music was all right it was okay um but it doesn't beat coco like coco hands down is my favorite animated movie of all time i think coco is the baddest um because it reminds me of my nan so yeah, but I love Coco. Like, I will watch Coco over and over and over again. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
조금만 음, OMG That is so good Is that like mango with Like Condensed cream or something in there Milk That's so good, that's delicious <laughs> So that's it from me Thank you everyone for Asking your questions For those of you who did ask Thank you, thank you so much You're loyal For those of you who didn't ask But still came through Watch my story on Instagram Bye, see you later <laughs> Uh, but yes if you have enjoyed don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below uh, if you would like me to do any more mukbangs at all like just let me know man hit me up in the comment section down below but that is it from me thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of your week and i will catch you guys up on my next one peace